than you. Don't look at that. Don't look at me. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, and look, look, looks like Abadongo likes to go Mewtwo versus, you know, do like some of the traditional top tiers like Sheik. It may no also be the out. fact that, you know, he's come this far close, close to winning uh, MSN before, and now he really wants to take it. This is his opportunity. He sees his chance to win MSM. Yeah, and Abadongo very familiar in this matchup, Mewtwo versus Sheik. Getting a clean shadow claw to relieve the pressure and give himself some stage for the run of dash grab. Very aggressive coming out from K9 with the bouncing fish to put him off stage. We got a ledge trap situation coming up. And this is where Mewtwo can really struggle. When he's in disadvantage, that double jump takes so long to start up, and that's when he can really find himself taking so much damage. Mm -hmm. But another aggressive grab coming out from Abadango. Yeah, 80%. He's got to watch out. K9 has some rage, so if K9 can get a good situation, up throw? But at the same time, this is a very low ceiling, so yeah. K9 needs to be aware of that up throw. Yeah, especially giving him like a punish like that off grab. That's why Mewtwo can. Oh, oh my getting goodness. that just holding the shield long enough for it to poke. Oh my K9 goodness. with that, oh, that almost fully charged up smash, getting Tipper and taking out Abadongo's first stock. Yo, that was that was sneaky, man. That was. Oh, so good. Calculated. Yeah, and he's like that. Cold blooded. And I thought he was going to rip it earlier, but he kept charging it, and I was like, I don't know. And then he, he got the hit. Wow. But here comes Abadongo with these combos. There. K9 catching that cross up Nair. Now Abadongo could use this platform to his advantage, get a little bit of charge on that, sh that Shadow Ball. And okay, K9 able to get a land in a fair, so he's not going to get a re grab. Double perfect shield coming out from K9. You can you can tell just from like all the matches he's played with Rich and stuff. He's very familiar with this matchup. Oh yes, you can see the the familiarity coming out from both sides. Oh yeah, for sure. As Abadongo continues to weave around K9. Oh, and the sidestep. What a call out on that grab. And K9 to just do it, bouncing fish. Abadongo really has to respect that option. Oh, nice fade back. Ooh, oh, trying to get him with the 50-50 into the, the vanish, but did not catch the air dodge. This up throw 50-50 is a thing on uh, Mewtwo, one of the top tiers that it does work on. So this is going to be work for a good time. Looks but like K9's aware of that up throw 50-50 as well, as we did see him just attempt it. Yeah, and Abadongo just flipping his coins right. And oh. the up throw, is that it? Wow. Great roll read coming out from Abadongo, getting another up throw yeah. onto K9 as Bruce. Yeah, and Abba just really seasoned, very experienced player. You, even though the grab would have killed, we didn't see him really fishing for it. He put K9 into the disadvantage state, caught the roll, got the kill, man. And he had rage, too. So, like, that 111% rage that he was able to hold on to really bit K9 in the butt. So now it's K9 as Bruce's uh, counterpick, and he's going to choose a stage with no platforms. Final destination. Yeah, very similar to Town when it doesn't have platforms, but we don't have that low ceiling in place. So we're not, we're not going to see K9 dying to the up throw as early. And not only that, Abadongo will have nowhere to retreat if he decides that he wants to play a little bit defensive and charge a Shadow Ball. Yeah, one thing Mewtwo's really like to do, and um, I mean, this, you can just take this as a helpful tip, but on Smashville and Town, Mewtwo, since they get ledge trapped so hard, Mewtwo's will like to retreat onto the platforms that extend out of the stage, and they'll just retreat onto that and then ride that back in. It really helps the disadvantage state, so not going to have any of those platforms in play. Got a questionable vanish coming out from K9. Will just lead him to getting thrown off stage once again. Up smash coming out from Abadongo. Yeah, what a call out. So confident and good, great reactions coming out from Abba. So much good damage here, and he is still on a tear. He's really riding this momentum. <laughs> Percents are about even between these two players, but the control is in Abadongo's hands. Yeah, this is the percent where K9 really wants to finish Abba's stock off because he, he doesn't want any rage. And the fair is such a strong move. That Shadow Claw is going to do it. Try to go for the down throw mix up classic. Mm, I like that offensive nair coming out from Abadongo, which is challenging whatever K9, whatever uh, attempt K9 was going to make of a 50 50, and just nullifying it completely. Mm -hmm. Oh, that should be true, and that is it. Even with no rage on Sheik, uh, Mewtwo's so light that that still will kill. Oh, man, and these up tilt anti-airs coming out from Abba are so good. K9 really wants to get this cross-up on him, but Abba is not allowing him. And now Abadongo on the side of the stage, taking his time, charging his Shadow Ball, 
getting a Nair into double back air. That's yeah, a good amount of damage. Alba's combo game, but he goes for this down air to end the game. Okay, he gets back on the stage. Who tries to get that up smash. He saw yeah, that. he threw out another <laughs> one. I mean, it worked before. Mm, jab is another great tool in this matchup for Sheik as Mewtwo is floaty, so it'll pop him up and uh, just put him in the air, which is really, really good. And again, you see how Mewtwo's double jump like floats up at the top really far, so it's really hard for Abba to sweet spot the ledge with his double jump. K9 catching it with these down tilts. Okay, he tried to go for that air dodge. Uh, there, didn't work out for him. All I'm now, hearing is bleep, bleep, bleep. Yep, he, he's, <laughs> he's really trying to throw off a K9 with his air dodges, making it uh, unpredictable. Yeah, K9 is doing such a good job. He's playing very disciplined. He's holding the center stage. Oh, that was a great pivot up tilt. Was not able to capitalize. Yeah, K9 is just exuding this pressure from the middle of the stage right now. Really trying to find this up air. He finds the up oh, air. Oh, and he gets the cross up. Good stuff coming out from K9. And what a retaliation. Yeah, Abadongo was just continuing continued to just be stuck on the ledges and that just gave K9 all the momentum that he needed put him in the position let him take a moment for himself and really analyze Abadongo's playstyle and his recovery yeah and he just managed to just keep him off the stage racking up the damage and which was resulted in a rising up air rising cross up up air right and K9 did have the lead and the center stage control for like majority of that last game and you just saw him he was so disciplined he didn't mm -hmm. go in he just kept the center stage Abba retreated to the ledge just trying to charge these shadow balls but K9 just exuded the pressure but very, in a very safe manner Ooh, and we have a switch Ooh. here let's see what stage he took him to okay goes the lilac so K9 gonna switch I mean he just won off the Sheik but maybe doesn't feel too comfortable we usually see K9 ban this stage so this is very interesting I'm wondering what he banned Yeah, yeah. Abba's starting it off really strong. 45% already on this Diddy Kong. Taking a few moments for himself. Charging up Shadow Ball. Not taking it fully charged. And now nullifying the banana. Abadongo continuing his momentum. But now K9 as Bruce with some damage onto Abadongo. Yeah, it's going to be hard for Abadongo to avoid these fares. Mewtwo is such a tall character just by nature. So... Um, these four are going to give him real trouble. He's going to have to space really well around these. Another thing, too, is like just with Lilat and how it tilts, sometimes when Abba's on the low end, he can't shoot the Shadow Ball. It's not going to be an option because it'll just go into the ground. And now we see K9 once again walling off Albadongo, making sure that he does not get to play the game. But the reason why probably Abadongo picked this counter pick is because those three platforms right there, the teleport cancel is such a great way for Mewtwo to get out of disadvantage, so... We'll see if he uses that in this matchup. And we haven't seen him quite use it just yet. And I actually really like how Abba Dongo is positioning himself when K9 has the banana. K9 will fly it at him when Abba's cornered, and Abba will just slip and just go to the ledge. Mm -hmm. He can't really get any follow-up from it, so it's a really good way to get rid of the banana. I mean, you're still stuck on the ledge, but yeah, it's very interesting. I like the... I actually like the, the strategy that Abba Dongo has once K9 is uh, on the platform. He's using Nair and following up immediately with Shadow Claw. And oh. applies not not only does it apply a lot of shield pressure, but he might also get that poke. Yep. Is that going to be it? Wow. <laughs> Great DI coming out from Abadongo. Yeah, that forward air is not the strongest. Move. Ooh, that actually looked like he was looking for the dare. Wow, what a trap. That was so nice from K9. And he forced the option because he was going to trump him. And he actually got the back throw. Wow, really great play coming out from K9. And there's those teleport cancels I was talking about. It's going to be really helpful when Abba's getting juggled or maybe even ledge trapped. Yeah, it's really going to help him mix up his landings. But Diddy's forward air is a very long-lasting move and already 66% on Abba Dongo. Yeah, and K9 using the banana more so keeping it on stage now. And Abba just can't get off the ledge. It's no, just he's still Abba, at a disadvantage. Abba Dongo is having so much trouble just uh, with K9's ledge trapping. Yeah, and finally he gets back onto the center stage, and this up throw should seal it away, and it is. But with 82% extra credit for K9S Bruce, Abadongo has a hill to climb. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, Mewtwo King or Mewtwo has very good combo game, but we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Abadongo could just potentially get one hit, but it could just defense. It, it could just be one down tilt, maybe even a banana confirmed for it to mean a uh, Abadongo's demise. Yeah, K9's defense, like he, that tomahawk, 
<laughs> He's just not letting him get a hit, man. Canine's playing so solid right now. This is the stone cold canine. Even punishing like, oh, you're going to grab my banana after it bounce off your shield. Like, how dare you? <laughs> Oh, and an wow. unfortunate suicide right there. Lilat not hooking Abadongo up. Maybe could have dipped a little low. Yeah, he was really trying to mix up his timing. Take uh, when it comes to grabbing the ledge. But unfortunately for him, just dipped too low. Yeah. And, <laughs> that, I mean, we've seen it happen many times. Lilat could have possibly saved him. If he was, if Lilat was the homie, he could have been like, you know what, I got you, bro. Dip down. Now you got to earn those saves from Lilat. <laughs> you got to earn those. You have to truly love Lilat. Talk to him, MVD. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was game three, and we do see the Bayonetta coming out for this Diddy Kong. And like I said, just, Mewtwo, it can just be generally hard for Mewtwo to mm -hmm. deal with Diddy Kong. Even, like, even with the teleport cancels, that fair lasts a long time, so it can just cover that area for so long. Oh, and he goes to Lila again. This is, this is a very strong stage for Bayonetta. Um, just because her the way the bullets are um, art, when Bayo's on the low end, she can just shoot bullets, and it just, yeah, it's really effective. Yeah, That's as Abadango is now showing. <laughs> So yeah, it's really controlling the lower end of the tilt, and that's going to change. So it's very, it's very interesting to see like who, who, like how they're going to fight for the low end of Lilat. And not only that, but that being underneath the platform, so similar to to Mewtwo, Abadongo is able to use his up tilts and uh, other aerials to actually apply pressure for free. Oh, there's the witch time. Let's we'll see what kind of conversion we can get here. But he drops it. But he gets a reset with that grab in. This it looks like he missed the conversion. Yeah, off that ABK. Could just be really good DI coming out from K9, but I mean, in the end, he still got like a lot of damage. He yes, pretty he much did. closed the gap damage-wise. We all know Bale can get the stock, but <laughs> <laughs> still getting the damage up to is really good. And Abba closing the gap with these bullets. So now, even even though K9's been taking a few shots from the bullets, he's still keeping his composure. He's not rushing in, playing unsafe. Yeah, but the forward air will get punished, but K9 does another forward air. Okay, yeah, and see, not the bullet's not so effective when you're on the high end because you can just run to the low end and be fine. And K9 does have the lead. He does not really have to approach here. He doesn't have to make anything too hasty. And this banana can make it very difficult for Bayo to get back onto the ground. You're going to see Abba use these platforms really, really well when K9 has the banana out. Punishing a whiff back air with the forward air, but a back air comes out for Abadango, and that's really close for. Wow, the no way! The no way! K9 is like, what? He's one with Diddy, like, that's. <laughs> did that happen last week? <laughs> oh wow, that goodness. was insane, but Abadango <laughs> able to clean up the stock and bring it back, bring the percents back down to 0 0. Oh my god. I, I just. I can't believe that happened again! All right, so K9 with a very little lead here. Okay, gets the heel slide, but no follow-up coming out from Abadongo. The very platform's important. actually coming in clutch for K9. Okay. All right, Abba still going there, trying to extend that combo, but doesn't get it. K9 resets the neutral, gets him in the corner. Yeah, shoot him up, <laughs> but guns blazing. Abba don't care if he's in the corner or not. Oh, could this be the conversion to end it? Wow, just taking him all the way to the skies. Very good reaction right there from Abadongo. Um, a lesser bail wouldn't have done the ABK away. Mm -hmm. So he saw that K9 um, DI'd slash smash DI'd away, and he was able to get the follow-up ABK going in the same direction, which linked it to the upbeat to take the stock. I mean, very fortunate barrel kill for K9 there. Yes. But, um, Abadongo was able to just you know get the, get the setup he needed to close out that last stock. Now, probably because back of the stage yeah. that K9's pick, not opting to go back to Sheik, but Abadongo going back to Mewtwo. Yeah, okay, so very interesting. K9 picks Town and City, and Abadongo making a pretty big bet here because his up throw kill will kill earlier, yes. but so will Diddy's setups. Diddy has very various setups into his up smash, mainly down tilt, so yes. we'll see if Abadongo can avoid that setup and makes his stocks last really long here. If, if K9 is Bruce is able to continue to play the way he's been playing uh, on stage, just ledge trapping Abadongo over and over, applying the pressure, making sure that Abba can't get center stage and take um, take control of these platforms, then he's going to be in a great position. 
And this is going to be the transformation that you're going to see Haba, Abba have the worst or hardest time to get out of disadvantage because there's no platforms. It's just, it's pretty much FD with a real low ceiling. So, you see how Abba gets out of disadvantage here. It's going to be really troublesome until platforms come in like so. Now at least he can retreat to the platform. But will he be able to retreat to the platform if it's past K9? Yeah, true See that. a back throw. And he went for center stage only to get back thrown off stage once again. K9 throwing every uh, <laughs> peanut and banana at him. Oh, gets hit by the Shadow Ball, though. Wow, back air saving him right there. Oh, send it right back. <laughs> but K9 using the invincibility of the getup and punishing with the down tilt into up smash. Yeah, I don't even think he needed Town and City right there for down 130 on Mewtwo. Definitely going to be it. Mm, right as a feather. Man, I, I really just don't agree with the Mewtwo pick, but maybe he's just confident with Bale only on Lilat in this you know particular matchup, so... Oh, wow. Tried to get the cross-up, but K9 called it out. Right, back throw for Abadongo. Now going for that up air to punish the monkey flip. Does not get it. Yeah, he got the high read, but it was gave K9 enough time. And like I said, that double jump just being so slow on the startup, it gave K9 enough time to just air dodge. Okay, good damage coming out from Abba as he gets double nair into fair. So much damage getting tacked in by Abadongo. If he can just hold strong, not get too high of a percentage, Close out this stock. An up throw from Abadongo will definitely do it. Yes, and there it is. K9 was being a little bit more aggressive because Abba was holding the banana. You know, if right. he's holding the banana, he's not going to be able to grab you. So K9 did see an opportunity there, but as soon as Abba chucked it, he got the grab, scooped him up, and sent him up. Yeah, really good play right there from Abadongo. And he has the banana control, but he's in disadvantage again, and especially being in disadvantage with none of these platforms. Oh, just as I say it, here they come. Abba playing so smooth right now. Oh, and we got... Here comes the Mewtwo combos. Already at 44%. Abba Dongo making this comeback. Nice. Slow and steady. And now K9 is actually the one that opted out to use the platform to give himself some space. I really want to point out, too, Abba Dongo's Shadow Ball control and just how he's using Shadow Ball right now is just so amazing. <laughs> it's really changing the pace of the match. And Town City has a lot of running room. Like, the stage is just really big, and Abba Dongo is really abusing that. He's not really using the wave bounce too much to mix up what yeah, he's going to do with the wa with the Shadow Ball. But at the same time, he hasn't really been in a position where he needs to. I think out of all the Mewtwo's, I think Rich has the best Shadow Ball control. Yeah, yeah Abadong is still just using the Shadow Ball really well. Oh, Ooh. man. That was so close. Probably wasn't expecting that banana to connect. Yeah, and... and yeah, Abadong has to make sure he doesn't... Oh, no! He wow, got, he jab got one. There, dude. <laughs> and <laughs> now we see K9 fishing for down tilt. He's just one down tilt away from taking the set. And advancing into winner's finals. Yeah, Abadongo just needs to hit him up a oh, couple more times. Oh, on the banana. But K9 does back not air? get chased. Back air, not Ooh. enough. Wow, that DI coming out from Abadongo. Really clutch. You got these platforms. Now with that high platform, he was able to get out of that disadvantage state. Really, really clutch. Ooh. Forward throw? Not going to be it. And with max rage, K9 uh, maybe a kill percent. <laughs> oh, man. K9 trying to catch this landing. Oh my goodness, Abadongo is being so evasive right now. We're getting oh, tempered down to... Okay, I thought I, I thought K9 was going to go for oh, three. But oh. there's a back air and that's horrible oh, DI and that's enough. Wow, good stuff coming out from K9 as Bruce.